set up your airbrush, attach the nozzle to the front of the airbrush body and tighten until snug. The nozzle tool can be used to gently tighten the nozzle being careful to avoid over tightening. There will still be a small gap between the nozzle and the airbrush body when tight. Next, attach your air hose to your air source. The air hose can be attached directly to a propellant can. Follow instructions on the can and keep the can in an upright position at all times. Use the compressor adapter included with your airbrush to attach the air hose to an air compressor. Pressure should be set to 20 to 30 PSI for most applications. Remove the lid on the siphon bottle and fill with paint. It's a good idea to start with a small amount of paint until you are more comfortable. Nearly any type of paint or stain can be sprayed through the airbrush, as long as it is thin to roughly the consistency of milk using the appropriate thinner. Most airbrush paints, such as the Aztec acrylic airbrush paint, are ready to spray without thinning. Attach your paint cup or siphon bottle to either the left or right side of the airbrush, depending on your preference. Make sure that the small black plug is inserted into the opposite side. To start airbrushing, press down the trigger to start the flow of air. Simultaneously, pull back on the trigger to begin the flow of paint. Pressing down further increases the airflow, while pulling back further increases the amount of paint or the width of your spray pattern. Practice on scrap paper until you are comfortable. Now you are ready to airbrush. Aztec, making airbrushing fun and easy.